Welcome to my midweek long run. Hi everyone, so welcome along. Tonight I want to talk to you through my midweek long run and what I'm going to put in in my pack. It's not the same as if I'm going for a long run at the weekend where typically it'll be longer than my midweek long run. Midweek long run will be anywhere from about 8 to 10 miles and then the long run on the weekend could be anywhere 10 plus. So we we'll start with what I'm going to put what I take with me. Uh, so it is, it is going to be reduced so a packing list, so I'll definitely take waterproof um, regardless of whether it's forecast rain or not because if I ever go down that will sort of protect me from the wind um, and any other elements which are going to be out there. Um, head torch because it is going to be an evening run and chances are that I will start running into the, into the dark. Um, I always take a bit of um, deep relief with me just, just uh, if, if I get any sort of niggles on the way. Uh, bivy bag again so if I do go down um, I can just crawl into that and it'll protect me from, from the elements. First aid kit and compass. Uh, in the first aid kit it's just your general sort of blister plasters, um, sort of sling in case uh, you know if, if you do sort of pull, pull anything so you can sort of strap it, just strap it together. Um, I'll take a bath with me, that's the wipe away any, any sort of sweat. Also that adds, adds as a um, a mask if I need to go into uh, into a shop for help or if I need to get, get for a replay on water. Um, I, I always put a spare pair of socks in as well. Um, I've never used them yet, but I think it's just a little bit of comfort um, in the knowledge that if I do need to change the socks, it's always nice to get a new uh, clean pair of socks on. Then we've got the water bottles, the 500ml flasks. Um, in there I've just got some um, uh, electrolyte tablets for, for this evening. If I go for longer, I will, I will put the tailwind in there. Um, a watch, um, obviously, you're going to be wearing that on the wrist, and then I've got the uh, aftershocks. I'm going to play my music through, and the hat to keep the sweat off my face. And that's so all going to be packed up into for tonight's run. It's going to be the 10 litre Kerber from Harrier, Harrier UK, who are uh, a really fantastic brand. Uh, I've got quite a few bits and kit from them, as you can see. So what I would start with then first, I would get the the little stuff sack, um, and then I would put the oh, put the bivy bag in first, push it right to the bottom. Then I'd put the socks on the top, it just gives it a little bit of cushion. Then I'd go for the first aid kit. Always keep the first aid kit towards the top because you never know when you might need to, to get it and, and uh, it needs to be handy. So then all I do is just turn that around once, so keep it in water so it's waterproof, clip that together, and then that will go in. In the main back compartment, I'll push that down. Then on top of that, I will put the, the waterproof. Ordinarily, if I've got more stuff to go in, like um, you know, sort of a, another layer or um, a thermal top, which need, will need an L and waterproof bottoms, then I will put the waterproof jacket on the back to the uh, to these pull, bits, uh, pull cords, and then it's quite easy to get out and put over the top. So yeah, so that will go in in here. It's just stuffs in there quite nicely. Uh, because I know I'm going to need this later on, um, I'll leave this towards the top as well. And that just all fits in there nicely. I put a packet on the other side of the waterproof jacket so it gives me that little bit of padding. Uh, I don't think I need to put anything else in there. So then we'll come over to this, this side. So I've got a nice little zippy, zippy pouch there. I will just throw my uh, anti-inflammatory gel in there. Um, in fact, what I've forgot, actually forgotten to do is put some little um, you know, packet of toilet tissues in there because you never know, you may get caught short. Um, I've got those in the car, so before I go, I will put, put them in. So the buff I'm going to be wearing, hat I'm going to be wearing, aftershocks I'm wearing, the watch I'll be wearing, and then I'll be taking these in here. I was going to take the poles tonight, but it's a relative, relatively flat route that I've um, marked out. So I'm not going to take the poles. Um, I, I'm going to take those on on the hillier sections. So yeah, I'll leave that. Oh, get in there. 
So I'm going to leave that for another day where I've got hills involved. Doesn't normally go in quite easily. Go on, what's up with you tonight? Catch it on there. So that is it guys. Perfection. Slot them on. And we are good to go. Flick them on, flick them up. Click, clip, clippity clack. Don't go back. And off we go. And that's it guys. Nice. Nice and secure. Doesn't bounce around. Jobs are good. Let's get out on the trails. So today then, it's Wednesday, so we're off on our midweek long run. Uh, the watch has said it's about 9.3 miles. Uh, if, all, <laughs> if last week's run is anything to go by, it's going to be over that. I always need to take wrong turn or find a couple of miles from somewhere. <laughs> anyway. So I'm on the cycleway now, I think it's number 47. Cracking the cycleway. Quite muddy, mucky. So it's nice and soft underfoot. But yeah, it's lovely. So, like I said last week, I want to start increasing my mileage, increasing my fitness, not fitness, uh, strength work. But this week, I'm not really done much uh, strength work to be fair and I classed the long run of the weekend as a bit of a strength work because there was a lot of, lot of hill work in there and you'd be surprised how much you work the legs on the hills so I'm really enjoying this today I think that's good I don't speak too soon we're only a mile in I think I've got my nutritional point today I don't feel as drained as what I have done in the past. So, a little bit of prior planning prevents piss poor performance, as they say. All the peace. So, welcome along. Hi, right, guys. I don't know whether you can make that out or not, but I've been too busy listening to Guns N' Roses singing my heart out, and I've gone off course again. I should have turned left further down the road, so I'm way, way off course now. I'm only two miles into it. <laughs> oh well, it's an adventure. Yeah, so, like I said, we're two miles into it. And do you ever remember when, when you were a kid, we used to go on sort of days trips out with your parents, you'd jump in the car, you'd head off, whether you go to the beach or go to an amusement park or wherever, and your mum would go, oh, I can't remember if I turned the cooker off. Can't remember if I locked the front door. Well, I'm two miles in, and I've got going through my mind. Did I remember to lock the car? Did I remember to lock the car? And to be honest, I can't remember. So, I'm too far into it now to turn around and go back. So I suppose I've just got to cross my fingers and hope for the best that I did lock it, because I've, uh, I've actually got something in there. Uh, I've got my camera in there, which is quite expensive, and I wouldn't want anybody to rip away with it. So yeah, just fingers crossed there that I did lock it. I'm normally pretty good at locking it, uh, but yeah, let's see. Anyway, let's get on with it. I've probably got about half hours left to do. known as hump day or Wednesday so midweek and to be fair I woke up this morning I felt absolutely terrible I didn't want to go to work 
I was in a bit of a low place, missing the family, even the stinky teenagers. Uh, but yeah, I could have done the cuddle this morning. I felt quite low. I'm normally quite upbeat. But this week, you know, I don't know. I've been very, very busy the last few weeks. Perhaps it's all catching up on me. Early starts, late finishes. And then trying to fit in an increased, uh, increased mileage and training. So yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting home this weekend. I'm just chilling. I have got a long run plan, but whether I do actually go on it or not, I don't know. But uh, running does make me feel better. Uh, I don't know I'm out on the main road now. Yeah, so running does make me feel better. And like I say, so it's late evening, coming into late evening, the sun will be down soon. And it's good to be out. I actually feel pretty good apart from the car sweating a bit back there. Seems to have eased a bit. But yeah, bit of a bit of a low one this week. But hey, I don't know why. I've got nothing to be low for. I've got a lovely family. I've got a house over a house. A whole, I've got a roof over my head, food on the table, and a job. So, I would say I've got a lot to be thankful for, so I don't know why. This goes to show really that one day you can be absolutely tip top banging around and then the next day you have a bit of a low ebb but I know how to manage it usually get out do a bit of fitness or do something I enjoy like editing these films and that's it really that's my coping mechanism is to normally do a bit of fizz uh, go for a walk that sort of thing so yeah I'm lucky that I know how to control my ups and downs the same as everybody has ups and downs but other people deal with it differently anyway see you a bit I don't think I planned this route very well it's bringing me down a quite a busy road and there's no pavement uh, there's a little bit of a grass verge but it ends right now so it's quite dodgy really Take my life in my own hands. I'm going to cross over. <coughs> so I'm going to cross again, just so I can see the oncoming traffic, so I can dive out the way if I need to. Oh, I need to get off this road soon, as really. It's getting a bit dangerous now. A woman's just swerved me and she got around the bend. So I'll have to rethink this route if I'm going to do it again. Right, there is a cycle track here, I'm going to take this because I really don't know it's better be off off the main road feeling that it should be like this all the way down but it sent me onto the main road I think it's because they're doing infrastructure work for the HS2 so they've cut a lot of the road away a lot of the verges putting new roadworks in new infrastructure ready for the new line to go through but it didn't help me at all it was actually quite dangerous So, where's the path go? Ow. Oh, must be down the other. Whoa, dodgy. Wow, this is quite steep. Five miles. Whoa. I really don't think this is the right path. Oh, fuck. Ah, I should have come down that way. Fuck. Right, come on. I should have gone back on myself in a minute. 
Cheers guys, thanks. Ah, this is where I need to be. Canal. So I'm basically on this canal now for another four miles back to the car. And I think those people are looking at me funny because I'm talking to myself. <laughs> way -o. Boom boom! I hear you say way -o. Way -o. Ah, So I've downloaded a new playlist. It's a bit of rock. A bit of classic rock, a bit of anything else. It's quite good actually. I'm quite enjoying it. A bit of Guns N' Roses in there. A bit of Death Leopard. I don't know what this called, what this song's called. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, way oh, way oh. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, I'm a nutcase, nutcase. Don't hear me, is it? Hey guys, guys. Yeah, good. Ah, so what was I saying? Yeah, so it's definitely getting lighter for longer in the evenings because this time last week I had the head torch out. It's just about light enough not to have it out. And I'm about 0.3 miles from the finish. So all's good. So what is it? What have we got? Okay. One hour 36 and it was 10.13 miles, average pace 9.32, so not bad, I'm happy with that. I'm absolutely knackered now. I'm looking forward to going back and getting some grub. And for those of you who were, if you were wondering, I did lock the car. So, all good. I'm starving now, let's go get some grub. So that's it, long week, long week, long midweek run, done.